Hello everyone, this is Weblio TV with maybe an interesting video for you. How can we watch our Tapo cameras using our smart TV? In this case, this smart TV uh, has one. Well, uh, this is an LG smart TV, but I am using the Nvidia Shield TV because it has Google uh, TV or Android TV, it's more or less the same. And the important thing is that you must have the VLC installed on your TV. Maybe you have, yeah, you had it now, but if not, well, try to install it using your Google Play Store or talking to the Google Assistant here with these uh, bubbles here. Uh, press it and say Google, open Google Play and then look for VLC. So, uh, what we need? First, we need a keyboard. It's not so necessary, but it's very um, useful. In this case, I have my Logitech. And we have, yes or yes, a mouse, a Bluetooth mouse or a wired, no problem. And of course, our control remote. Um, well, but before to jump in, to conf configure our smart TV with Google TV or Android TV, uh, we are going to remember how to obtain some information very important for this task. We need the IP address of our cameras, the account of our cameras, and the um, and put a password and a username to every camera you have. We are going to see that right now. Well, the first step is go to your Tapo app on your smartphone and, well, tap on the camera you would like to see on your smart TV. In this case, I'm going to choose the first cam I have at home. And then you are going to here in this here on the top of the screen, go there and then go to where it said device info. Here, when you enter there, you will find a section called IP address. It's like this number, 192.168.1.1. It's more or less like that, but you have your own for each camera you would like to see on your smart uh, TV with VLC, right? Well, take note of this IP address, right? And now we're going back again to the beginning here where you can watch your cameras and go again to the gear part and you will find here at the bottom there's a section called advanced settings i mark i mark it here with green advanced settings and then you go to camera account account information and here you must put a username without space and a password for each camera. For example, username could be, uh, for example, uh, CAP1, CAM2, CAM3, etc. And the password for each camera, right? So take note of the IP and the username and password, and then click here where it said save, right? And now we can go to the next step and try to open our cameras using VLC on your smart TV. Okay, open your VLC and search for an option called Stream. In this section, you will find a address bar and you must put some of the information that we found on the Tapo camera. Of course, I'm going to put my own information, but try to... Uh, try, of course, you are going to use your own. I am going to put an example, of course, uh, to write. I am using a wired, wireless keyboard, but you can fa uh, use one or use your control remote. As I am, not, I am not using it right now, but it's more helpful if you find a keyboard, right? In this case, well, I write RTSP to point slash slash. I am going to blur the image because I'm going to put my own uh, information. What information? Well, from the top of lineup, in this case, 
I'm going to put an example here. You can see now on screen. This is an example address. RTSP to point slash slash the name, the username of your camera. If you have a, a, a two or three cameras, each camera maybe has its own username, as I told you before, to point the password of that camera at and the IP address. In this case, this is an example, 192.168.1.100 and then 2.554 slash string one. There are another string, I think there is string two, if I don't get wrong, but the, mo the, mo the best quality is in string one, okay? So put, replace your information with this example I'm giving you, I have my image blur because I am, go I am using my own information. But now I'm going to hit OK. OK, and ta -da! now I am streaming my Tapo camera. In this case, this camera is blur because it's for my privacy, of course. Now go to your remote control and you are going, you are going to press the up button of the circular control. If you have something like this, well, press, press up, the up button, for example, and you will find now and an this kind of option and we are going to choose an option called Save Playlist. There, when it's open now, you're going to add a playlist name. I couldn't write using the Enter key on the keyboard or uh, with the, the control remote, I should, you must use a, a mouse to choose playlist name, right? I'm going to click there inside this box and it's going to allow me to write the, the, the playlist name. Well, in this case, I'm going to write a cam01 that it's like a shortcut. Remember when we watch and then we're going to save. And why we do this? Well, we're going back now to the beginning of VLC. And you will find now that is an option called CAM1, right? It's like a shortcut from window, but now using your smart TV. We enter on CAM01, we hit the play button. This is selected now, you only need to put OK on your control remote and immediately you're going to watch your, in this case, the the, fair, the, the top of camera that you configured uh, at the beginning. So maybe you're watching Prime, Disney Plus, anything you like, and you want to know if you, is the delivery guy outside? Well, let's check it out. Enter to PLC, go to Cam1, and, and let's see if the delivery man has our pizza, right? And at this moment, very fast, we open the top of camera with a PLC on your our smart TV. It's amazing. It's amazing. Sorry if I said smartphone at the beginning, right? But uh, can we add another camera? Yes. We go again to the stream uh, option. And now we are going to enter the network address, but in this case, from the second camera, right? The second camera, you must go to your Tapo apps, go to your second camera you have, put a username, a password, and take note of the IP address. It's going to be different from the CAM1 we put uh, before. So remember that it's going to be different, of course. Okay. Take note of everything and then go to, we're going to hit the OK button there and hit the enter on the keyboard. And now uh, my second camera that's, that is on another part of my home, it's open. Again, we use our control remote to press the up button to open these options. And we're going to put save playlist again we are going to put another name, in this case I'm going to write playlist uh, CAM02. CAM02 I'm going to write CAM02. Um, 
hit save and then you will find that cam2 and cam1 cam2 hit play and and there you can see the the camera of another part of your house if you go of course if you go to the stream section again you will find that the address we wrote before are here too and you can rename them and enter to the cameras too right so if you like to enter to the stream part you can do it too but remember that if the internet goes off or the electricity goes off you must write again all the all the things we did here because well uh, this is an option we try to do using vlc on our smart tv so thank you very much for watching this video i hope you like to learn more about this vlc amazing program uh, if you like please hit that like button and if you want to make a small donation it's very i'm going to be very grateful but for me if you can subscribe it's more bet more better or it's, it's the best for me thank you very much i'm going to leave you some affiliated links to the amazon if you need a tapo camera or a tv or something or a tv uh, or something related with android tv Thank you very much. I hope you have a wonderful day and see you next time uh, in, in this small channel called Webleo TV. Greetings and goodbye.